to go ahead and evaluate his spine. Head down, please. And the first thing we can see is the curvature in the spine. So what I want to do just to make sure we're following the contours is just label the spine this way, okay? And let's go ahead and scope him now. Now the idea with this, his spine here is we want to find the nerve pressures that are causing these deviations. And the question is, is this a structural or a functional issue? And that's what we're going to be determining over these next few visits. When we look at his film, we can clearly see, and we'll go over it later, that this is a functional issue. So I do believe some things are going to, some good things are going to happen for him. He's going to need to be mindful of the posture and the walking and school stuff. Now, we have to be very mindful to follow the contours. Sit up a little straighter, please. There you go. And, you know, in terms of a backpack, we're going to recommend a roller for him. More so whether it's a rolling backpack or if you want to get one of those rolling suitcase type deal either or so I'm getting three spots here 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 and here next we're going to statically palpate the one thing I need for you Eric is I do need you to drink lots of water okay mm -hmm. how much are you drinking right now how much two, water two three pounds a day how big are your bottles a liter 16 ounces okay you need more like six to eight okay okay and what you're going to see is it's going to make all this easier for you too. Next thing we're going to do is static palpation. Let's go ahead down and let's statically palpate and see what's going on here. Now the interesting thing on, on his film is there is some sacralization of L5 going on, but it's early, number one. And number two, he's got good disc there. Scoot forward, sir. Feet together. Open and close your knees, please. Open wide. Keep your feet touching. And you're going to butterfly like this. Open and close the knees. Yep, just like that. Open and close. So when we're looking here, we can see right dimple is higher, left dimple is lower. It is consistent with AS on the right, and the x rays show ASIN left is PIEX, but which one is stuck? Okay, right side only, left side only. When he moves the left, the right goes with it. Scoop back for me, please. All the way back, keep going, there you go. Let me motion it now. I'm gonna do the top of the joint, the middle of the joint, bottom of the joint. It's a little tight at the bottom there, yeah? But this side's not moving. All the motion that's happening is up here. It's nothing is happening down here. We're going to set the left PIEX. Tender right there. A little bit. More here. More here. There. Head down, please, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number eight. Number eight, left pelvis, and let's start with the neck. Sit back for me, please. Okay, let's motion. Now, what's nice is he does have a really nice neck curve, and I'm very impressed with that. I was expecting it to be in the opposite direction. And even the way he presents it looks like it on the outside, but it's not. T1, T8, left pelvis. So I think where we're going to start today, we're going to start on T1. We're going to set T1 as a PR, PR-T on T1. T1 
eight, we're going to set it as a PRS. And let's go ahead and we're going to start with your neck, okay? Mm -hmm. So PR dash T means PR, it's for the spinous is gone PR, where we're on the opposite side transverse. Left hand up, please. There you go, sir. All the way back. You okay with the strap? Mm -hmm. Good. PR dash T, there's not a lot of lateral flexion. We just want to get that transverse contact. There you go. Walk it off, please, once. And let's go on the orange table. Let's do the C8. No, no, he's going to be okay. He's going to be just fine. Face down. On the black platform, please. Thank you. And you're facing that. Hands forward. Animations, huh? Mm -hmm. You know Photoshop? A little bit. Cool. Hands forward. Both hands forward, shoulders down, shoulders down. There you go, dude. There you go. T8, we're going to set it as a PRS. It's going to be very light. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay. And now we're going to go on the side and do the pelvis. We're going to go right side down. Now what's interesting, when we look at your film, it shows a right convexity, right? So looking at it from the outside, you think you're going to adjust right side up. However, we're adjusting here. When we're adjusting here, you can see the high side of the rainbow is on the left side. So we're safe to put him down on his right. If for any reason he's uncomfortable, we'll switch to the left, okay? do an alternate move. Just go right side down here, please. Head here, face me. Yeah, so I'm going to start it as a push, P-I-E-X push. It could easily be a pull as well, but let's see. I need to know, though, when we get you set up, that you are or are not comfortable in this position. Okay. Bottom leg straight, top leg bent. Slide the bottom butt cheek forward. There we go. Bring your shoulders forward, please. And I need your head here. Okay? Are you okay in this position? Yeah. Bottom leg straight, please. Okay? We're doing the PIEX. So, right there. Okay. Nice and easy, bud. Nice and easy. And then bring that shoulder up a little more. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to roll you as a unit. I got you the whole way, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to stabilize the pelvis and just get a nice push through. Good. There. Hold on. Wasn't bad, right? Mm -hmm. Walk it off. All right. Straight line back and forth, please. Head up tall. Thank you. And let's have a seat and rescope you. So definitely got to follow that contour. Now, what does it mean when we when the curves are off a little bit? Okay. You know, like when the car is out of alignment, one part will w maybe wear out more than the other. That's why, like I said, first part one is, can we get things balanced, stabilized? And down the road, well, let's not jump the gun. Let's see what happens first. Yeah, you're clear for today. Now, let me check the pelvis, okay? Scoop forward, feet together, 
do the same thing. Open the legs. Close. Open. Close. That should feel easier for you, dude. Left side. Feels better, right? Mm -hmm. Opens up. Right side. You can see my fingers are not moving like they're, they're good. Left side again. So on the previous, before the adjustment, every time you did the lifts, it was doing this. They're moving independently now. Very nice. It's a good start. Walk it off one more time, please. Do you have a question for me? No. You get what I'm doing? Okay, we gotta get your pelvis balanced, okay? We get that pelvis balanced, we're gonna see how much of this thing will straighten out. He's still growing. Posture is the key, okay? So, I have a little homework for you. Real easy stuff. Stand on one leg, both of them. Stand on your right leg right now. Two minutes. As soon as you can do two minutes on the right leg, go to the left leg, easy stuff. Do the left leg. Okay, Mom? Okay. Now, two minutes each side. As soon as he can do two minutes each side, eyes open. Then you're going to do two, one leg two minutes, eyes open, then eyes closed. And, until, and then just be next to the wall. You want to do two minutes, eyes open, two minutes, eyes closed, both sides. You want to be doing that every day. For now, eyes open for this week. Okay? Once a day. Once a day is fine. Okay. And school-wise, if you summer school, I would say walk as much as you can. If you can, if you have the time, he's up early, go walk to school. It's going to be better for you. Okay, I promise you. If you want to get a carrier carrier thing, get a carrier thing if you need to. Okay. Mm -hmm. If not, if he doesn't, if it's not that heavy, eight pounds. Uh, no, that in summer school we just not much. Notebook. That's fine. Just use your backpack. Okay? Questions for me? No. Squeeze. Nice. Squeeze. Squeeze. He likes to do. It's fine. It's fine? No problem. Pull. Yeah, he likes you to. You pull him? Sometimes, yeah. No problem. Pulling is good. This is bad. Oh, okay. This, no bueno. This is good. I do it all the time. Okay? Gapping the joint, you're following the axis, it's fine. No problem. Okay. I, I don't know how he does the legs. Yeah, like I don't this? do that. Okay. Like this? Squeeze his... That's fine. Oh, this one? That's fine. Doing this is fine. Just try to avoid this. Okay? I'll see you on Monday.